Hey guys, welcome. Today's practice is a really simple, slow flow. We're going to move through some simple movements to just open up our bodies, get us feeling more grounded and centered. So we will start laying down on our backs and coming all the way down into Shavasana. So legs wide, arms wide, eyes closed. Find your breath. See if you might start to really stretch out your breath here. Can you inhale from the tips of your toes all the way up to the crown of your head? And can you let your exhale fall all the way down from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes? One more like this, inhaling all the way up, exhaling all the way down. Now hug your right knee into your chest. Start to draw really slow circles with your right knee, using just your right hand. And just starting to bring some awareness into your right hip crease. Reverse directions. Come back to stillness, interlace your hands behind your right thigh and extend your leg up towards the sky. Begin to point and flex your foot. Now just circle your foot around your ankle. Again, nice and slowly. Reverse the direction. I find so often we move so quickly through our lives that we, we don't feel it. and We miss so much of what's happening. So in our yoga practice, we're really trying to rewire ourselves to notice all the details. Come to stillness. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Take it wide and do a half happy baby. So your right hand takes the outer edge of your right foot, knee wide. And just breathe here. When we really offer ourselves the space and the time to slow down, there's so much for us to observe. That's our invitation for practice today is to continue to be the observer of your body, of your practice. Keep holding on to your right foot and your half happy baby, but bend your left knee in, plant your left foot. And now take your right ankle across, lift up your left knee, find figure four. Take your hands to interlace behind your left thigh. Use your right forearm, your right elbow, to just encourage your right thigh open. And soften your shoulder. Keeping the figure four cross, bring your left foot back down to the mat, and then find a twist so your right foot comes over to the left. Right arm open, spin your gaze to the right. Take another breath. And we just unwind all the way back to Shavasana. 
send both legs straight. Pause here and observe. Notice the subtle similarities or differences between the two hemispheres of your body. And then we switch sides. Left knee comes in with your left hand. Find those slow circles. Three big circles in one direction. And then reverse and take them the opposite way. Interlace your hands behind your left thigh, extend your leg up, point and flex. And then start to circle your foot around, moving really slowly. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of sensation in my ankle, my shin, my calves. Just reverse directions. Bend your left knee in half, happy baby. Left knee wide to your left side. Now, staying with the half happy baby, bend your right knee in. Left leg comes across as right knee lifts up. Catch your ankle, figure four. And it might feel nice to sway a little bit side to side here in your figure four. Yes, checking in with yourself. What feels best? What does your body want to do? How do you want to move? So our right foot down, take it into our twist, left foot over to the right, gaze to the left, left arm out. One more breath here in our twist. And then come back through center, back to our Shavasana. Just a moment to pause and observe. Perhaps those differences that you noticed between sides have now balanced themselves out. You can just take whatever feedback your body is giving you as information, or positive or negative. Point your toes. Keep your arms up and back, full body stretch. Both knees come into your chest. And a little rock side to side. And then you can either rock all the way over and press yourself up, or you can rock forward and back. Either way, we're coming right to downward facing dog. So taking your time to get there, setting up your feet about hip width distance apart, your hands shoulder width distance apart. And then really press into the heels of your hands and your belly back, drop your head. Start to connect with your breath, moving in and out through your nose. Now lift up your heels, come onto the ball mounds of your feet, pivot your toes and your knees to the left. And press your left heel down. See if you can lift up onto your left fingertips. So kind of a little twist in your dog. Left hand comes down. Pivot all ten toes to the right. Lift your right fingertips up. And let's just do that twice more side to side. Pivot to the left. Lift up your left fingertips. Through center. Pivot to the right. And one more time each side. 
Last one to the right. Back to downward facing dog. Take a breath. Lower your knees down, find tabletop, and move right into cow and cat. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your heart, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, round your spine, curl into yourself. And keep moving with the rhythm of your breath. Letting your eyes soften or close all the way. Three more rounds. Keeping your hips over your knees, start to walk your palms forward, melt your heart all the way down to your mat. Look forward, lower your forearms down. Snake yourself forward onto your belly. Elbows adjust so they're beneath your shoulders. Draw your heart forward. Look up, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, lower your forehead down. Slide your fingertips out wide underneath your elbows. And next inhale, rolling cobra, lift your heart. Exhale to lower it down. Twice more, pressing the tops of your feet down as you inhale and lift your upper body. And then exhale to slither right down to the earth. One more time. And lower down. Plant your hands, move back through tabletop and to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, send your right leg up and back. And then step your right foot forward between your hands. Lower your left knee down. Keeping your fingertips here, framing your right foot. If you have blocks, great place to use them. Take an inhale as you draw shoulders back, look forward. And then on an exhale, peel your hips back, straighten your right leg and bow. And we'll do that just twice more. Inhale to lunge, sink your hips and get light through your heart. And exhale, shift back and fold. And one more time. This time as we come forward, come all the way up, low lunge arms reach. With your right hand, take your left wrist and side bend up and over to your right. And come back up, reach up. Plant your hands down. Curl your back toes and now step forward to the top of your mat. Maybe you take a few hops to get there. Hang over your legs, Uttanasana, forward fold. Now let's move with breath. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, rise up, Uttita Hastasana, send your arms overhead. And then a prayer to your heart. Inhale, your arms rise. Exhale to fold over your legs. Let your heart lead. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step back to downward facing dog. And then when you're in, shift yourself to plank. Drop your knees and lower to your belly. Again, fingertips out wide, rolling cobra. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, roll down. Moving through table or plank, straight to your dog. Left leg lifts up, three-legged dog. Step your left foot forward. Tap your right knee down, come onto your fingertips and right into it, inhale here. 
Exhale, shift back. Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. And two more times, move with your breath. And this next time that you come forward into your low lunge, send your arms up overhead, lift up. Left hand takes your right wrist, side bend to your left. Back up. Plant your palm, step forward, top of your mat, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Soften down. Rise to stand, reach your arms. Prayer to your heart. Inhale, send your prayer up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Halfway rise. And let it go. Downward dog, step back. Inhale, plank. Your choice if you want to drop your knees or keep them lifted, lower to your belly. Fingertips wide, rolling cobra breath in. And out. Downward dog. Send your right leg to the sky. Knee to your nose. Step your right foot through. This time back knee stays lifted. Still tented on fingertips here. So we'll lower our hips down. Lift our heart. And then on exhale, hips lift up. Both legs straight in this time. Fold pyramid pose. Two more times. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, straight. Your last one, breathing in and breathing out. Now coming all the way up, crescent lunge, right knee is bent, arms extend up and overhead, right hand takes left wrist and we side bend. Come back up, reach, plant your hands down, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Let it go. Rise to stand. Circle your palms to the sky. Prayer to your heart. Inhale, prayer to the sky. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Downward dog. Moving with breath. Plank pose. Lower down. Rolling cobra, fingertips wide. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward and down. Downward facing dog. Left leg high. Step your left foot forward. And you walk the back foot back a little bit to get lower. Inhale, look forward, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, hips up, fold towards your left knee. Remember, nice and slow, notice the movement. Just one more time, observing what's happening in your body. Crescent lunge, slowly rise up. Left hand takes your right wrist, side bend. Back up, reach, look up. Hands down. Good. Step back. Downward face dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale to your mat. Rolling cobra. Fingertips wide. Lift your heart. Lower it down. Plant your hands. Downward facing dog. Right leg to the sky. Step your right foot forward. Again, inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten your legs, fold. This time right to high lunge, inhale, rise up. Side bend to your right, right hand takes your left wrist. Inhale, back up. This time we open warrior two. Pivot your back toes out, heel toe your front foot center. Lunge, and turn your palms to face up, inhale. Prayer above you as your right leg straightens, look up. Exhale, warrior two, descend your front thigh. Two more times, inhale. 
and exhale. Last one, breath in. Breath out, this time tip forward, right forearm to right thigh, left arm overhead. You can you press your left hip point forward, think about rolling your left shoulder back. And then rise all the way up, reverse your triangle pose, straighten your right leg, reach your right arm up and back. Okay, pivot your hands down to the mat, step your left foot forward, forward fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, let it go. Rise to stand. Prayer to the sky and into your heart. Inhale, send your prayer up. Exhale, wide arms, light heart, fold. Halfway lift. Plant your hands, downward facing. Moving with your breath, inhale, plank. Exhale to your mat. Wide cobra, inhale. Exhale, down. Downward dog. Left leg to the sky, left foot forward. Just one time through, inhale here, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten your legs, fold. Next inhale carries you all the way up, high lunge, crescent pose. Left hand takes right wrist, side bend left. Rise up and open, warrior two. Flip your palms to the sky, inhale, both legs straight, look up, touch your prayer. Exhale, warrior two, twice more. Tip forward, left forearm to left thigh, side angle pose, right arm overhead. Press into your right thigh. Rise all the way up, reverse trico nasana, left leg straightens as left arm reaches back. And windmill your hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Last time through a little flow, inhale plank. Exhale belly. Wide cobra. Lower down. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in, long breath out. Drop your right knee down. Bring your right foot over to the left edge of your mat. Bend your left knee in, left foot over. Walk all the way back, have a seat. Go Mukhasana legs here, a little hip opener. You can inhale, sit up tall, and then exhale, hinge forward and fold. You can bring yourself upright. Left fingertips over to the left, right arm reaches up and over. Find a little side stretch. And come back up. Rock yourself forward onto your shins. Curl your toes, cross-legged downward facing dog. Let's walk our hands to meet our feet at the back of the mat. Bring your pinky toes closer towards one another. And just folding here. Start to walk your hands forward, uncross your legs, back to downward facing dog. And we'll take it to the other side, drop your left knee down, left shin across, right knee hooks behind the left. Have a seat, sitting up tall, and then tip forward and fold. Long, slow breath here.
and start to bring yourself upright. Let your right hand send your left arm over, side bend. And then rock yourself forward onto hands and knees. Tuck your toes, cross-legged downward facing dog. Walk your pinky toes towards each other as you walk your hands back. And find this forward fold at the back of your mat. And start to walk your hands forward, uncross your legs, downward facing dog. Take a final breath here. Drop your knees to the mat. Just sit to one side, swing your legs around, and come all the way down onto your back. This time we'll have the knees bent, the feet planted beneath the knees, arms alongside our bodies. Just take a moment first to arrive here. Catch your breath. If you switched out of observation mode, come back into it. Bear witness to yourself. Rooting down through your feet, press down into your feet and rise your hips up for bridge pose. And shimmy your shoulders beneath your upper back. Maybe your hands come to class. And as you really press into your feet, think about sending your hip flexors towards the sky. And unclench your bum. Breathe here. Another inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, slowly lower down. Hug your knees into your chest. Full happy baby now, both knees wide. Hands take hold of the outer edges of the feet. Your feet stack above your knees. Start to bring your knees together into your chest. Right knee stays in, left leg extends all the way long on your mat. Twist right knee across your body. Roll back through center, switch sides, left knee across and over to the right. Final breath here. And then come back through center and right into Shavasana, the same way that we began our practice today. Legs wide, arms wide. Take a deep breath in. Fill all the way up. Breathe a little bit deeper. Hold it at the top. Hold. Keep holding. Open mouth, exhale. Feel your whole body relax.
you have the time, stay here longer. If you're closing practice with me, start to deepen your breath. Gently introduce movement into your body. And gradually make your way upright to a seat. Sitting up tall, feeling the integrity of your spine and then softening around it. And once again, bearing witness to yourself, observing what you feel in your physical body, what you feel emotionally. Experience yourself. And we learn to fine tune our presence, our awareness. Our whole life becomes a meditation. Take your hands into a prayer at your heart. Deep breath in. Long breath out. From my heart to yours, namaste.